welcome back to the shop. It's good to see you again. Uh, over the years, I've um, I've always been interested in people who make pens and pencils um, on wood lathes. So uh, I haven't got a wood lathe. I've got a metalwork lathe, but uh, as as most of you will know, but I bought some um, refills, some lead refills, and I thought I'd have a go. So uh, roll the titles, and we'll see how this came out. I'm really stoked. It came out better than I expected. That's spoiled, isn't it? First up, a little side project. Um, it's very difficult to get a camera in a good position to film stuff that you're cutting in the lathe. Um, really, you want the camera somewhere down here or s somewhere there, uh, maybe up a little bit. It's, um, it's very difficult. And in the past, I have used this, which is um, a magnetic base, an old magnetic base oh, with a quarter inch adapter. Uh, it's a quarter by 20, it's a standard thread for um, uh, camera equipment. The only trouble with this is it can fall off. So that's bad news on your expensive camera. So uh, as a side project, I made this. What we got is an adapter that, that um, uh, fits onto the lathe, I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, down pipe, across pipe, a ball joint, and on top of the ball joint, a slide. Let me rotate that so you can see. I made this several years ago. Let's focus that up. There you go. That is a slide that fits the uh, slide on the bottom of this camera. Uh, it also fits the head on my tripod. So uh, basically you can slide the camera on here or you can slide it into that slide. So let me show you how it works. Right, so here it is. It goes in the back like so. And there's the slide. There's the chuck. Uh, so you can slide it along to wherever you happen to be working uh, and if I just slide the camera on there we go there you go I've got um, the wrong lens to get close up on but uh, that makes it far easier to uh, film what's going on in the chuck so uh, I'm quite chuffed with that and uh, you can get really quite close so um, yeah, that's an aside, on with the project. I bought these some time ago uh, and I've been meaning to make a, a pen ever since. These are, um, they're, they're quite weird, they're really, I think for woodworking, but uh, let me show you, they're made by a company called Hultafors and um, they're actually made in Romania, but it's a Swedish, I think it's a Swedish company. Anyway, the leads are, a sort of a, a, a mix of graphite and I don't know um, they've got a, a slightly sort of crayony feel about them so I would um, it wouldn't surprise me that they're very thin crayons um, and um, some time ago again I bought some nice brass tube for, from the model aircraft industry that fits those an absolute treat so um, I thought this time I made a pen. The pen drawing that I did calls for 10 millimeter diameter stock. Don't have any 10 millimeter diameter stock. What I do have is that, which is 22 mil. So uh, I've taken a piece and turned it down to 12 mil. Now you might think that's absolutely bonkers. What a terrific waste of material. And yeah, you're not wrong. However, in the process, I've generated all of that which is just uh, brass turning uh, dust, if you like. Dust, brass turnings. That is ideal for bluing uh, parts, if you do a bit of clock making or whatever, and you want some nice blued parts. So uh, I'll put that in a jam jar, mark it up and keep it. So it wasn't a complete waste of material.
Right, well the uh, the first locking collar I made are ruined. So uh, off camera I made another one. And um, I, I just experimented with this one to see how easy it was to put the knurling on it. Uh, normally I'd do that in the CNC uh, and just index round, put a put a cutter through, index round, put a cutter through. But I thought, actually, I can do that in a lathe just as easily. So uh, let me put this in a lathe and I'll uh, explain how I did it. This is my uh, setup. I've got the uh, the bonnet up, or the hood as, you, as our American cousins would call it. Uh, the work is in a collet chuck and um, I've got an indicator, well actually just, just the arm for an indicator, over the bull wheel on my um, lathe and th this bull wheel has got 75 teeth on it so I can index this by hand uh, and cutting the, uh, the actual uh, what do you call it, a straight knurl on here, is a piece of cake with one of these, which is a normal threading tool turned on its side. So that's on the centre height there. Uh, so all we need to do is set the depth, put the um, uh, picker pick a tooth, any tooth you like. There's 75, so I'm going to make 25 cuts on here. That means every third tooth. Um, now all you have to do, wind the handle, in and back, you'll cut a groove, move round one, two, three teeth, and then repeat the process. Piece of cake. Much quicker than it would be to set it up on a mill. Here we go then, we have completed the top knob, the collar that goes, uh, that, that screws into, there we go, the uh, locking collar and the fixed collar which is the, um, the thing that does the clamping. Um, there we go, so that's that, there's the, the tube that runs through it, it's a little bit on the long side just at the moment, but you get the picture. Next up is the body. I've had a go and I've made this. Um, this is just a, a, a practice piece out of some uh, scrap timber that I have. So um, here's the raw stock. Comes from a friend of mine who makes some um, uh, fixers windows. So uh, that's just an offcut. And I've bought a couple of long series drills to um, drill it out to accept this tube. So uh, let's have a go at that. Let's give myself enough room.
Right, off camera I've um, cut the blank off to the right length. Uh, I need to square that up a bit, which I'll do in a moment on the lathe, but uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the hole didn't end up in the middle. However, that doesn't matter because there's still enough meat for me to turn it down to the diameter of, that I need. So yeah, we're all right there. Uh, so next up is to, there you go, check that fits, perfect. So now I need to slit the end of this copper tube so that um, when the, um, uh, there you go, put that together, it pokes through the end like so. When the, 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 the locking collar gets screwed down, it pinches the, this, so I need some, um, uh, a couple of slots in there, uh, to, I'll cross it off, cross it out, yeah I'll cross it out so that um, when this gets screwed down it pinches on the lead. So uh, yeah that's next. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, that's gone well. <laughs> I've got it stuck. Oh, well, at least it does stick. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, I'll have to slice this tube off at the right length here and then recut those grooves. Put some glue this is good stuff this is it's a really did get a grip anyway right there we go that's that end that end done do the same this end there we go now while that cures I'm going to have a visit from somebody from Salon. <clears throat> So here we go, all I'm doing now is just turning this to taste really, whatever sort of shape you like. Right, now I'll sand it. Now the people in the know tell me that you need to uh, give that a coat of super glue. So uh, let me do that. Right, so here we go. God, that's astonishing. That's absolutely as good as something you'd buy. I'm stunned. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow.
we're there with that. I'll just um, re um, recut the um, uh, cross in the end there, and uh, we'll see if it works. Here we are then, the finished pen. There are the parts the, and the lead. So let me just uh, assemble it. I'll just push the lead in, put the cap on the end. The only reason for this cap is that if you break the lead, you can push it out. All uh, right, put the locking cap on. Put a bit more lead out the front. There we go. How about that? Absolutely spot on. I'm chuffed to bits with that. That's absolutely gorgeous. I'll polish this up and leave you with a musical montage. Uh, do hit the bell and subscribe button if you want to watch more of me making this sort of rubbish. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe I made a pen. Brilliant.